All right, y'all set? Sure. Is. Okay. What's one thing you would go back in time and tell yourself on the day that you arrived on campus knowing what you know now? I would tell myself to not take everything so seriously, to just let loose every once in a while and have fun and everything's going to work out. Uh, hindsight's always 2020, but knowing that you only have four years and just make the most of it. Uh, probably just to enjoy every minute that you get here. Uh, time flies by, it just seemed like yesterday I was a freshman, so the four years really do go by quickly, so uh, just enjoy everything you have while you have it. Um, I would definitely tell myself to not lock my room when I went to the shower because first day on campus I locked myself out of my room going to the shower in my towel. So that would definitely be the biggest thing I would tell myself first day. Anything long term? <laughs> long term, long term I would say uh, just get out of my comfort zone as much as possible early on to uh, make friends earlier on in my experience here. I tell myself to enjoy it because it goes fast and to enjoy the little things, not just like wait for the big things. I would tell myself to have a little bit of fun and enjoy the moment because it, it flies by way too fast. Uh, I would definitely tell myself to keep an open mind and definitely treasure each moment I have because it went by way faster than I thought it would and I'm kind of sad. Um, I would probably tell myself to, that four years goes by fast and that uh, to not take it for granted because in a blink of an eye it'll all be gone. And uh, while the next stage of life is not necessarily scary, it doesn't mean that you want it to want it to come so quickly. If you can pick one memory from your time as a student athlete here, what are you picking and why? Um, that, that's a really hard question. I mean, between football, between track, um, there's there's so many moments that I'll forever remember. Um, my senior day for football, you know, I didn't get to play my uh, senior year because of uh, some concussion issues. But uh, walking across on senior day was, was really a wonderful moment for me and my family. And, um, and then at nationals, after I got done throwing, got done competing, um, I walked over to my uh, family and my head coach, um, and we all were just kind of smiling. And, you know, it was just, you know, that's it, we're done. Um, and it was just the realization of, like, this is the last time. And, you know, I hugged my coach, hugged my parents, and, you know, I, I started crying, they started crying, and it was, it was a very uh, wonderful moment. One time we had a tennis match in Richmond, Virginia, and um, it was it was away. So it was probably the longest tennis match that I've played since I've been here. It was like a five, six hour um, long match, and we, it was away, so it was already late when we left there, like nine or ten o'clock. And we get in the van, and we come start heading back, and we're not even halfway back, and our van runs out of gas. Our coach forgot to fill up the gas tank, so then we had to deal with that, and it was it was just something that I'll never forget. The homecoming game, my junior year. Um, it was our last game, it was senior night, and it was homecoming, and we were the last game of the day. And the swim team decided that they needed to come and take an article of clothing off after every five points. And the energy in that gym because of the swim team and because of how hard we were playing was unbelievable. Uh, definitely the first time being on the field with both of my brothers at the same time. Uh, we got on the field uh, against uh, Benedictine and we got a three and out the first time all three of us were on the same football field together and that was definitely something I'll treasure for the rest of my life. Um, I'd probably say this year, you know, we uh, typically we swam at the Liberal Arts Conference Championship and we got switched over to the Heartland Championship and uh, you know our girls dominated everybody but our guys, uh, we were triple digit underdogs went in there and just out swam Rose Holman every single day, came down the final relay and uh, we won it, won conference and uh, I think that's a moment that will carry with me forever. Um, definitely last year winning conference for the first time in school history, um, just the whole conference tournament in general and like really that season was by far my favorite season and just ending out on such a high was something I'll never forget. What's one thing you will not miss from your time as a student athlete? All of these beautiful bruises that I get from lacrosse sticks. <laughs> One thing I won't miss about being a student athlete is trying to figure out when to get all my homework done when I have tons of games and practices every night. Uh, definitely time management, having to like miss classes and stuff, and that kind of stresses me out, but that's the only thing I guess I would miss. Uh, definitely early morning practices especially in the winter when it's freezing. I have to scrape off my car and then go drive to the pool. I won't miss practices every day. And also with golf, 
your weekends are gone. It's Saturday, Sunday, a lot of times you're staying Friday and Saturday night. So you get back late Sunday night um, and leave on Fridays. So having my weekends back would be definitely fun. Well, I'm, I miss uh, playing, in, playing in the tournaments, but the preparation and all the time off the golf course, because you only play about eight hours in the weekend, but it takes your whole weekend up, so. Playing in the snow. Playing in the snow. Golf, you play unless it's, it's lightning or it's below zero degrees. You're usually playing because there's like no rules that say weather determinations other than immediate danger. Uh, who's had the biggest impact on you since you arrived here? I would say definitely Coach Allen. I know she's only been a part of my two years, um, and I've had a good relationship with our previous coach, but I think for two years she's made such an impact on me and become a mentor to me and someone I definitely really admire. Um, so the two years that I've been with her, I appreciate so much, and I think she'll be somebody that I can stay in contact with for a while. Um, all of my coaches, for sure, head and assistant coaches, and, and my teammates, for sure. Uh, probably Coach Marshall. He's really helped me uh, develop and mature as not only a baseball player, but just a person in general. Most definitely Coach Hendricks. He's, uh, he's definitely more than just a coach. I think now we look at each other as friends. It's a friendship. It'll be a lifelong friendship. Uh, from the moment I stepped on campus as a recruit to now, it's just been uh, unconditional love and guidance. And I feel like every person on the team can say that. You know, Now it's not just a coach-player relationship. It's a friendship that just will last a lifetime. I would say Coach Bailey has had the biggest impact on me because he's always been pushing me to do better and be better and to grow as an individual, not just as an athlete. Probably my coach, Rusty, um, which he's not the coach now, Justin is, but um, he really just showed me that you can get the things done that need to be accomplished and still have a good time doing it, that if you take life too serious, you won't be able to enjoy it at all. If you could sum up your experience as a student athlete of Franklin in a few words, what would those words be and why? Uh, just incredible and life changing. Uh, it just completely gave me the opportunity to compete and become the man that I feel like I was destined to be and just grow up. <laughs> uh, I'd say fulfilling. You know, it was um, coming in, I'm not really sure what to expect as a Division III athlete, but I was able to continue playing the sport I love, get a good education. So I think I definitely made the right choice and I, I got a lot out of it. I guess a lot of it would just be hard work. I mean, hard work in school and hard work in the weight room, hard work on the football field, uh, hard work on in the uh, hammer rings. I mean, it's just it's a lot of hard work. I would say that it's been hectic but rewarding for sure. It's been a lot of fun. It's been tough. Uh, a lot of my memories from Franklin were because of golf, and and I'll take take those memories with me. So exciting, eventful. Crazy. <laughs> a lot of work, but a lot of fun. What are you going to miss the most about being a student athlete? Free golf balls. <laughs> um, no, but just being able to go and play and not have to worry about anything. A lot of time, you know, when you're just out playing around at golf, it's fun. This is a sport that I'm lucky enough that I can take with me. I can keep playing golf. I can keep playing on golf courses. But the team side of it, I'll miss that. I'm gonna miss the competition. I love game day. Practices are always have always been just a part of the game day to me. I always loved being in the game. It's so much fun to compete against other people and show off your skills, but definitely just the competition. Um, bonding with my teammates, not even necessarily when it came to match time, but just riding in our bus together on the way to away match or eating in Saga or our preseason when we would be the only athletes would be here and just hanging out with my teammates. I think I'll just miss playing. Yeah, even like practices, I enjoy practices. Obviously you have your days where you don't want to go, but I'll just miss the game. I'm almost playing. I'll miss the competitive outlet, definitely. I'm going to find something else to fill that, but just playing. Putting the jersey on, going out there and competing and um, being with the team and being part of the organization and you know, just wearing Franklin and hearing Go Grizz every time you have a game and just walking down Dame Malls, everybody's supporting you and just definitely being a part of that organized competition for sure. Definitely the team camaraderie. I think um, we've, Coach Hendricks has helped create a culture that really just embodies everything that he believes in and what the team believes in. Um, we're a committed group of people that hold each other accountable hold each other up in the good times and the bad. And I think uh, having just a 
the band of brothers and sisters that we have all miss that the most. Not that and you know the traveling for the away meets, just being with everybody, just the moments and the memories that we've created. I think uh, it's going to stink knowing that I'm missing out on those moments, but I had four great years of those moments.